Awesome. So thank you for joining uh, this space to explore your real voice. It's a space that I it came up for me as, a, as a, my own necessity of discovering my own voice and having been researching this space for the last uh, in a way like two years or more and noticing that there is still so much in the way of my voice in the way of what actually influences my voice and where I speak from how I talk how I say things and I I shared this space with Nicole a few weeks ago, and she was a yes to holding space for this discovery space. And where my yes came from was especially an experience that I had with Jorge about a year and a half ago, where he held space for me to experiment with my voice in a few different ways that I'd never done before. And this was, you know, I'm not talking about, I, and I already was someone who'd done a lot of experimenting with my voice from having been an actress and a singer and a public speaker and a space holder for many years. So this, this space was extraordinary mm -hmm. to me because it, it really was about what what this space is about, which is discovering the origin of, <clears throat> I'm going to say, a more authentic voice until I can speak with my authentic voice. And something I have, I'm, I'm scared about this space because mm. you might not find your authentic voice, your real voice in this space in one and a half hours. It might take years and years still to really hmm. come from the source of your authentic voice and and this is also not a problem because it really is a discovery and like jorge was saying this ever more discovering that oh where i'm speaking from right now isn't isn't the source of my authentic voice and living in this question of, of like, how about now? Is it now? Yes. And what comes up as you're speaking is this thing that I've been discovering about my voice is the, the familiar voice. This, this voice for me that is I'm familiar with that I'm used to speaking from, that I know my voice. And, and I've been calling that the, the, the voice box or another word for that is like a vocal image. Um, this image that, that you have, uh, that you project onto others, how you are perceived by others. And, and my research has been about that, about like how, like noticing when I'm, stuck in in my in my box in a way and it's taking me this is such a liquid state for me be, because it's like touches in into my device of communication and just as i was going to enter into this space it was this liquid state about like i'm not ready for this and all these different voices that uh it creates like a, a contraction in in the being and that doesn't let the my, my like my being express in, in a in a way that uh yeah and and I'm faced with with this judgment of my own judgment of my own voice of how I'm like beating myself up about it and and how this changes uh, my voice so I'm. Um, I think I want to experiment a little bit uh, uh, with this thing about your vocal image and how essentially like you you guys here, my my team here, 
you can see so much about me that, that I cannot see about myself. And, and in this way, like I, I want to use the, the team to to give me to give feedback, to use your scanners to to tell you like what are you perceiving in my voice? Something like that. Like what, what are you getting from my voice? What am I not saying? What am I saying without saying it? And and I also want to hear, yeah, yeah, from if there is anything else, Nicole, that you want to add. I want to, well, it's frozen on my screen right now. And, uh, and I don't see John again yet. Yeah. But yeah. I do want to hear from Wout and if John comes back, something about what brings you here. Like, where, yes. where are you coming from about your voice? What will you say? Yes. <clears throat> And there's a, a a a block that I keep coming back to over the years, and it is something about something in my throat that feels tight, and I've been peeling many layers off and many angles to look at that. And one of the recent discoveries is also that it might just be that my archetypal lineage has something to say. So not really that it's only. A healing process of a past life or I was skilled for not speaking my truth da 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 but also maybe just my archetypal lineage wanting to start using me or moving through me and so so just it's been very clear for me that uh, there's some work around free expression for me I got that feedback from the rage club team I mean as well just free feelings expression like how do I really let my heart, let my voice speak in this fluid way, not in this monotone, rigid, I am wowed, this and that. So so the heart operates in different tones of voices. And, and so all of that, I wanna, yeah, I think I'm in the right space. I think this is a space for me today. And that that's why. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I, I love that. Like what you, what lands for me about what you said is that there are processes to be done that are about removing blocks and you know getting getting the real voice back so that in this this might happen in this space that you discover a next process or maybe a couple <clears throat> that you you add things to your ehp list list of ehps to do and and along with processes then there can be experiments and the and, and this is what this space will be about is the experiments and the discovery of of maybe ehps but also of, of what else is possible and and this uh something i've, I've discovered about it is that th there's this isn't about going from one box voice to another box voice what, what you were saying jorge about how voice can come from like like my identity my how i'm trying to be seen by other people which is very different from how i am from from what and like what you said well if my archetypal lineage has things to say and if i don't say them energetically they they might be there for a while but then i might be trying to you know be like like a, a sexy goddess healer woman or a wise stoic you know I'm, i could have all these personas all these identities that i'm coming from not so much unconsciously but but i'm trying to do i'm trying to come from that mm. and this is about coming from somewhere different inside myself and yeah so i i I'm, I'm remembering jorge that in our space long ago there was this part about experimenting with coming from different places inside myself where all can i come from and i i uh 
I propose that we start with with some sound making where maybe you're coaching us to come from different different places in ourselves or something like that. And I I feel scared that John's not back. Um, Do you see reading, anything from him? I'm reading his message. I sent it twice, and I'm suspect that he landed in his spam box. So I just told him checking the spam. Uh, yes. Yeah, so and you didn't get you didn't get a reply in your email that it bounced back. He's in. He's he just joined in. Oh great. Okay. Yeah. I I don't remember quite well exactly the experiment that we did, Nicole. No uh, problem. I think mm -hmm. like maybe I can even hold space for it. Yeah. From what I have right here, right now. Welcome back, John. Yeah. and thanks made so, it yes there's there's an experiment on the on the bench uh, but before 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 i bring it will you say something john about about what where you're at about your voice and what brought you here what brought me here is just to learn i uh, my connection with jorge and i want to learn and uh, yeah, I want to learn more and, and do these processes and be alive and be present. Great, cool, okay. thank you. Yeah, my voice, and I'm not sure what you meant by uh, my voice. Yeah, so in a way, this space is for exploring your relationship with your voice like where are you speaking from uh how uh how are you speaking and and really getting to that space closer and closer to your authentic speaking where you speak authentically from 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 your being yeah okay got it yeah where yeah, where so. am i expressing from yes yeah so so this space is like for yeah for exploring that and yeah and and actually some practices to and experiments that we're gonna be going into about uh noticing noticing what different places you can express from mm -hmm. and, and that's yeah that's the purpose of this first experiment and so what i what i invite you to do is is Turn off your microphones just so that you can all hear me because I'll I'll keep speaking and that way the sounds that you make won't come into the space and interrupt because I wouldn't do this if we were in person but on zoom it's kind of a one voice at a time thing. So if you would each turn off <clears throat> turn off your microphones. And then just start start making a sounds. Like it could be with words, it could be without words, but just start making a sounds. And while you're making them, notice where they're coming from. Like really scan and notice where is your voice coming from. And, and I'm doing it too while I speak. So go ahead and and make the sound and notice where it's coming from and maybe put your hand put your hand where or, or you might need two hands I, I kind of have this experience where i'm coming from it's coming from my chest but it's also coming from my pelvic area and and so keep keep sounding or talking and then come from your left shoulder let your voice let your voice come from your left shoulder. Like talk and and or make noises, whatever sound it is, coming from your left shoulder. And now, now have your voice come from your right knee. Even if you don't know even how you would do that, just do it anyway. Be speaking from your right knee. Just and want to ask, do you want me to be doing it right now? Yes, yes, okay. be doing it. This wasn't 
instructions and then you do it. Yeah, go. Now, now move it so that your voice is coming from your left big toe. So all the sounds you make, this if it's a hum or talking, is coming from your left big toe. And now choose, choose another part of your five bodies or maybe of your physical body at first to come from and, and speak or sound, make sounds from there for several moments. And now choose another place to speak from and go ahead and, and make some sounds from that place. And now choose a space that's across the room where you're speaking from a, a spot away from you and notice how it changes, how your throat is working, how things sound from inside of you. And now bring your voice back to your attention, your energy, and speak from your physical and energetic center, deep down, a couple inches below your belly button. Speak from that place, sound from that place, and then come to a stop. And when you've come to a stop, will you turn on your microphones again? Um. Well. Seems like John left again. Yeah, I think he was frozen for a little while okay. and then it cut out. <clears throat> Here he is. Welcome back. What did you what did you discover from doing that? I, I really like the coming from the center. It's this the voice has this warmth to it, this timbre, this like yeah, I felt that just felt good. The other places, the corners, was a little trippy, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. John, John you're, you're muted. muted. Go. It was more difficult to come from my toe and my shoulder and things like that. It was easier to come from my belly. That felt real. And it was difficult to come from the corner of the room. I think I was thinking about it. I was having a hard time really connecting with my voice coming from there. Yeah. Could, could you, did you do it, though? I did it as best I could. I just did it. Yeah, and what, what, how did it go when you did it? Um, uh, I don't know. It was like, okay. Um, as Wall said, it was kind of, it seemed a bit abstract. It felt like I was like, okay, my voice, I just did it. Okay, there's the corner of the room, and I spoke. And I just expressed yeah i noticed that so. i noticed that there was a way where i was you know part of my voice was coming from my center the whole time and then there's a way that when i moved it it would come from there too and everywhere in between like when i when i when i put my attention and my like when I came from these other parts of my physical energetic body and other parts of the space, it kind of 
spread my voice out somehow where where it was it, the, a lot of it was coming from here but there was almost like another uh another edge to it And I, I wondered about, is this how people make their voice fill a whole room? Or do they, do they come from the whole room? Mm. Or do they come so much from their center that it fills the whole room? I, it, I had never had that thought before. Mm -hmm. That I remember. Yeah. I, I noticed I don't know, for me, it was funny that when I started speaking from my left shoulder, it was like a deep, deeper voice. Like, and then as soon as he moved to the knee, like, I, like the sound just changed. And it was like more like, and I don't know if this is like, but it, it's like the, the vibration was different. Uh, on my knee and then when he went into the toe it was like a, a very different sound and what i yeah what i uh, what i said like i i noticed the when i when i was in a different corner of the space it's like it was outside of me it was like like outside and at the same time it was like there was a line between my voice and the and they were, it was an, I had this question, is, is, is this how ventriloquists project their voice? That was my question about it. Some people that can like project their voice and make it sound like they're coming from, from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I haven't researched that. And when, when I, when it came from my, from the center, uh, I, I, I felt scared that my voice sounded so different to what I'm used to. And it sounded in a, in a way there was some resistance here, but then the, like I noticed there was resistance of my voice coming out from my center. Uh, and, and there was something in the throat. So it, it sounded like a lot more like into the space, like speaking to the space or speaking uh, in a way that it was different. <clears throat> and the, the difference is in like the, the volume not the volume in the sound but the the the, the texture of it felt like fuller there was something fuller about it I, and just one more thing i want to share is like I, I haven't done this experiment nicole before i don't know uh, how how we arrived here and it's awesome to have that moving the the my my source of origin of the my voice from one place to another and starting outside and then moving it to the center was like this more real like oh it's in the center now like now it's in the center and I, I could feel that difference when it was outside or in different parts of my body and when it was in the center it landed <laughs> differently <laughs> yeah well, thank you. Thank you for experimenting with me. And mm, yeah, what comes next for me is this, you know, something more about how, how it's gone for me over the years about getting my, about my voice becoming more real, it, at least compared to how it was. I, a, a couple months ago, I was listening to old voice recordings that I had stored on my phone. I thought, oh, I, maybe I said something worth writing down or worth keeping. And I, what I discovered was that most of what I was saying was just bullshit. It was, it was pontificating and my voice sounded so different to me you know, these are recordings from four and five years ago, I sounded like a completely different person to me. I sounded like, I sounded like I was really coming from this identity that I had really coming from my box 
mm -hmm. of, of what what I was trying to be in the world. Mm -hmm. And something that made a huge difference, huge difference was to do 333 anger. I think that 333 anger, you know, I think you all know what I'm talking about. This three minutes, three times a week for three months had a a very had consequences for my voice and my ability to to speak from my center and also doing the other three feelings sadness fear and joy in 333 also help me notice how i can come from also my my voice would be like colored by my feelings And so I highly recommend that those experiments for, for anyone who wants to find or, or relocate your authentic voice. Yeah. What what I'm getting what's coming for me now is that the, it's a work at different in different bodies. I see that there is like a work in the in the physical body in like the actual muscles, how you have you structure your muscles, how strong your muscles are, how uh, how much you haven't trained them, even like uh, like how much you open your mouth or how how much you like keep your mouth closed, the throat. So this is like the, the on the physical body, uh, and the let's say like if you're if you're if you're trying to run a marathon or if you're trying to run a, a hundred mile sprint uh that you you can't do it like all at all at once like there there is a condition that the muscles ha are in that uh, that it needs a reconditioning something like that mm. uh, and with the rage practice this was also a life changing for me about my voice and i i also i noticed the change that it was for me and at first i, I got my throat got really sick I lost my voice for some time. I, I, I yeah, I lost my voice. It was like hurting, and and now with with the more after doing it for more time, that doesn't happen anymore. Like like yeah. somehow my 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 voice had gotten to that point where it can be loud. It can scream. I can be talking for two hours. I can do throat singing, and and I still feel it. Like there is a sensation. It's not like I haven't lost sensitivity in it. But there is a more um, like endurance, or there is like a more maturity to it. Uh, I can I can run a marathon, something like that. Jorge, is there an experiment that you have about something like? Yeah, is there a next experiment that you have for us to to do here? I uh, yes. I don't know if it's to do here because it's like two or three experiments right now that are in my field. Uh, but I want to share about one experiment. I don't know if it'll be for doing here. I think it, it might be more for like something that you can do at home for the next month or two or, or some time for the next time. Uh, for really like, uh, like going to those different places where you can speak from those different levels and, and to like get the the different muscles that you might not be using in your throat i guess i'm working more on the on the physical uh body um but what i what i've been doing is uh i've been taking the kids books what i'm reading to to my kids and when i'm reading them i i do this thing that is called the the ambulance siren where it's like the ambulance sirens were like Whoo! So it goes from like these deeper, deeper sounds to like really, really high sounds. And and the the practice is to to read the kids' book with like coming out of your normal voice, coming out of like this like place where where you might be holding on your voice uh, in the normal place. And I, I guess like yeah, like I'm like the clarity I'm getting now is that that is working at different different levels at different bodies. 
uh, so there is the so as you read in the book, yeah, you just like go once upon a time in the village of Yorkshire, there lived a little doll that had a little button on his shirt, and one day they went out into the forest and fought. And this kind of like is gonna help to shake up your your box about it, shake up your 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 vocal box about it, and they said, "Oh, that, my that's not my voice, but it's gonna get you to these places, different places of of that your voice can make sounds." It's like you have a a whole keyboard that you can express from, and and we're used to like uh, just using these three to five five to eight piece eight keywords when you have like the whole range that you can express from and that can be really fun i don't know i'm i'm experimenting with that and and yeah that so that's an experiment i don't know if you'll be for this space but i want to like share it for you to try it out it's really fun thank you i wrote it down and in a way that's the kind of kind of there, there are a lot of places to go for voice lessons, say, or a range of voice lessons or, or singing lessons or um, like giving speeches kind of voice development. And yeah, what I, what I want what I want to kind of discover here is is something else, like something else about, this isn't about having a voice that has, you know, a lot of range or, I mean, it's also not about staying in the limitation of, of, of the range that is your habit voice, is the voice that you have a habit of using. So there's, I think there's, it's like there is voice yoga where you're just going in all these different directions using your vocal muscles and maybe your, uh, thoracic mu muscles differently in ways you've never used them like like in a yoga class you know you it's like people discover muscles they didn't know they had and they discover moves they didn't know they could make and so there is that there's like expanding the voice box so that you have more possibility and then there's this honing in of where else to come from in a way it's like box and being i think that, that it's not about coming from a different box. It's about coming from this authentic being space. And, and I, I mean, yeah, Rage Club has been amazing about that, especially when it comes to saying no and saying yes, and where that comes from. And maybe this is a great next experiment. You know, I, I've done that experiment over and over and over, but it, I, I learn new things every time. Mm. I remember one of the experiments that we did a year and a half ago in that session is uh, I, we go into first position. Uh, so we, we went into first position, going through like the steps of centering, grounding, and bubbling. And then what I, what I guided you was to, to start making sounds from there, to start let, letting the, the sounds come out. And, and we could also, this could also be uh, another another next step uh, of allowing the, yeah, the sounds. I don't know if you, and I, I, I would like to like leave the mics open for hearing, hearing the sounds that come out too. Um, yeah, how, how is that I, for you, Nicole? I also have an idea. Just, just wanna fix, make myself a little bit more visible here somehow before I do that. Okay, I go with this. Um, so that so the so so the flyer of this event was you have something to say to the world, and the world wants to hear it. And I don't feel we're going there right now, and I have a desire to go there because that's what the flyer said. And so what I'm getting is maybe something more like a dragon speaking ish space, like just let's just open the throat and see what comes without needing to know how or maybe without even yeah clear rules or something just okay what is these things that the world around us need to hear and go and just keep going for two minutes or three minutes or something like that 
How does that work for you guys? Great. I'm in. Yeah. Well, yes. Will you hold I space for that experiment? Wow. Sure. Yes. Okay. So, so can you say it again? Just so I open my throat and make sounds and experiment for two minutes. Okay. John, you, you can go first and I'll just I'll just share. What I read on this flyer of this event was you have something to say. The world around you is waiting to hear it. All of it. Starting now. Dot dot dot. So will you go with that for three minutes, John? Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. oh, I want to say that I want to just let my voice out and I don't want to think about it. And I want to just speak from center and just say, whatever, just stop. I don't want to think about it. Just like, no, or, or stop, or yes, or just like whatever is in my body. I don't, I don't want to come from up here. I just want to let it, let it come through right now. And it feels like I, it's really good to move my body i love moving my body Woo! yeah, yeah that feels sure. really good Woo! yeah and i just ah i want to be loud <laughs> i want to be really loud i like what hori was saying just like yeah i want to i just scream and go oh, oh yeah and then i want to settle down and really feel mm. oh yeah oh that feels good to just settle and yeah yeah not think about it is great just like whoa i I can say anything here. I'm looking at my, well, I'm in my bedroom. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm feeling like, wow, I'm feeling like a fool here. I'm just blah, blah, blah. Just, yeah, that feels good. <laughs> what do you care about? We used That's to get funny, something I'm happy. You, yeah. What? Well, awesome. Will you share what you care about and something that you care about, Yon? What I care about? Do you want yeah. the world ah. to hear? What do, what you, do you have? What do I want the world? I want the world to hear um go that i care about being authentic i care about being real i want to be honest i care about that i want to hear honesty from other people i want to hear their what is important to them and important to me is world peace to be peaceful and kind with everyone and not to be you know to be taking care of the world taking care of each other taking care of the environment. That's yeah. really important to me. Yeah, that there's not so much, yeah, peace, world peace and harmony and just taking care of the earth. That's well, really important. For the important. last minute, try the experiment of slowing down to half of the pace yeah. you, you were speaking at. Yeah, that's good. I really, I uh, yearning, I have this yearning for just peace and harmony and not to hear about all this ah oh, this pain and struggle and killing in the world ah oh, mm -hmm. i would like to hear i uh, yearning i have this deep yearning to just hear we're all trying like we're all trying our best to have peace and harmony mm -hmm. and we're all trying to help the planet yeah that's what i'm yearning so much to hear and i want to just I want to learn and grow. I want to create peace around me. And yeah, I want to be generous. I want to be open hearted. I really, I want to give and help people if I can. Yeah, I, I don't want to hold on to my smallness or anything. Yeah. So, oh, thank you. This feels good to share. Thank you, John. Thank, thank you, you yeah. John. Thank you for the, thank you for this. Yeah, I feel yeah. happy. And thank you for going first. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Walt, for just speaking up. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not the co-creator here, but, uh, or maybe I am, I don't know. Anyways, uh, my question is, there's a possibility now to give John maybe one, one thing you heard that touches you most back each of us or we just go on to the next person uh, yeah what do you say i would mm, my sense is that to say what touched us most is one way of giving feedback and another like my understanding was that the purpose of it 
is to practice bringing what you have to say to the world out yeah. and so i i propose that we do like each you know i don't know maybe set the timer for a minute and we go popcorn style just for one minute all three of us giving him coaching about about what he could try like in the future to so that he can continue to be able to speak more and more what he has to say in the world okay i have a go any resistance rick off we go yeah i got the first one my coaching is john i heard you say a lot i want to say this and 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 then but and that's my coaching is to experiment with just saying it instead of saying i want to say it say it and see if that's different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the slowing down that part with what, what would call to slow down that that could be a, a really good awesome tool to land the message that you're landing that, that you have this bigness and then you can slow down and that was really powerful i landed oh like it's oh it's time is taking yeah 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 exactly that i see i recognize you as somebody who's willing to be spontaneous and jumping in and i saw that and i would say keep experiment with other ways of what you know like the slowing down so thank you for your willingness Mm -hmm. I have one more that we share. Um, something about stop, something about stop, like like using this word stop, like keep like maybe going to a, like a space or practice where you can say stop, stop it now, now stop, something like that, something like that. You can like hear your voice saying stop. Uh, that's kind of non-linear, but that's yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, I will go next. I want the world to hear that I have I have something to say. And I feel scared of saying it because I feel scared of the consequences of what it will create in the world. Mm. I feel scared of how I'm going to be, I might be persecuted or mm. how I'm going to be killed for saying what I say. And I want to say that it's, it's the isolation. I'm angry. I feel angry about the isolation that I'm living in and that I see my neighbors living in. Mm -hmm. And that the isolation of the, the mothers, how the mothers are living in this isolation. And I feel angry at how much I cover, how much it is covered. I cover in this thing uh, that I can't let it out because it's dangerous, because we're supposed to be living okay, that we're okay, that we are, we're happy, we're fucking happy people. And that is such a bullshit. I'm angry because there is people that were suffering. Our families are, are fucking like depraved of connection, depraved of like reality and, and life and, and real food and real intimacy, connecting with people and playing. And I want, I want the world to hear this. I don't want to be shut up about this anymore. Go, I want to going. say it out yes. loud. I want to be screaming about this. And that it pours through my being that I'm taking Go. a stand for this. I am, I am up to it. I am done with this. That's enough that I'm letting this thing keep going in this way. That I, I am closed off and I feel scared of going out there. Mm. And there is families right now. My, we're I'm craving for connection, for realness. I'm craving for something real. And it's so messy. Mm -hmm. We're it's so fucking messy. We're I'm such a mess. And I feel scared of being seen in this mess and in being seen in this madness. 
because it doesn't fucking make sense. I'm angry. I'm scared. I'm sad. And I don't want to fucking put it together. I fucking. Oh, I want. I want to feel this thing together. I want to be seen in my grief. And I want to see you in mm. your grief. Mm. I want to see your craziness. Not this. Ah. Thank you, Jorge. Yeah. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, one minute feedback. Go. Thank you. Yeah, it worked for me, Jorge. It seemed like you were really coming from wherever was next. You, you just kept coming with whatever was next. And yeah, you, this gives me space to also do that like or clarity to also do it okay michael Jorge, there was one point when you said it's fucking bullshit the way you brought it's a coaching so the way you brought it is for me energetically felt like it's bullshit and what i want you to try is it's bullshit like really aim it not just bring it so a little un unaimed just aim it Will you try that in another space or later? Yeah. It's bullshit. Go, oh, yes. Yeah. A little more, a little sharper, sharper. It's bullshit. Yeah, getting there. Okay, we, okay. Yeah, just something that. there to look at. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I, I felt you were strongly expressing the whole time. But yeah, when you got more into the emotion, brought more emotion, then it would, I felt it stronger. But the whole time, I felt your being was. Yeah. Thank you. That's all. Thank you, John. I want to go next. Oh, go. I I have I'm experimenting speaking as Gaia, speaking from Gaia. I I have things I think Gaia has to say and I want I'm a mouthpiece for Gaia. <clears throat> the the time has come. The the time has is now to to stop pretending, mm. to get really real with yourself about what you're really alive for, because mm. time may be running out. Mm. I can't even tell if time is running out or has already run out, but this is your time. This is your chance. This is the time you have mm. to, to be and do what you're here to be and do. And <laughs> just stop, stop pretending. Stop saying it's cool when it's not cool. Stop saying you're happy when you're not fucking happy. This is lies. This is living lies. And it, and this is not what I created you for. <laughs> I created you for being me, being this vibrating, vibrant jewel in space. Uh, you are you are the jewels you are the ones that i gave birth to i gave uh, rise to you so that you would each be a facet of me collaboratively creating this next version of me as a planet as a living being spiraling uh, through space this is is it, it 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 could be mm. ending it will end for each of you it will end and this mm. is your chance are you with me are you with me don't answer show me show me be with me as your answer be me as your answer i i cannot be more fully alive until you are each more fully alive i call you to life I am pushing life up from my center into you 
energetically through food through air i'm depending on you i'm relying on you to be alive ever more fully yes like that well yes yes, yes. Yeah. let me live through you as you so you can we can be it where the whole universe is watching yes 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 i'm alive i'm alive i'm here with you I yeah, receive you. I receive this message. It's so much a mess. I feel so sad about it. Yeah, thank you. I don't want to. I don't want to face that world. I don't want to. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. 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 No. Does anyone have coaching for me about what worked, what didn't work, what I could try? Yeah, it, it worked. Yeah, this part about there is no time. Like when you're like, that's when he felt the 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 highest, the bigger, the, the bigger. This like big clarity. We have no time. There is no time. Uh, that, that my that worked. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody's willing to say it. And yeah, sorry, I'm reacting because I'm so touched by what you were doing. It worked for me. My whole being shook up to the core to connect to what is true for me in my heart. So it worked. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not in a space to give feedback now. So I give it to John. And thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah, Nicole, that spoke powerfully to me and my, yeah, my anguish and fear and all the feelings around the earth. And the, and I feel your cry from a deep cry. So, yeah, and it was also difficult, just like, yeah, and I, yeah, the pain of, that's inside me about the earth difficult to feel it and but good felt a real cry of pain so i really appreciate how much you let yourself express yeah it just felt like because that pain is in me thank you i have this question nicole is i don't know if it's coaching or, or as a question it comes up as a question right now like is it bigger like it, i had the same i have this suspicion that it might be bigger like really big like like something massive yeah yeah there's so much yeah i feel joy because i i i did it i did it for three minutes and and i even as i was doing it it was like gaia was coaching me and and it's like, oh, that's not quite it. It's it's more this way somehow, or, and like, yeah, it's I really have the experience of of being Gaia in in a in an individual woman. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for going there and for yeah for bringing for bringing it. I think that is the way, that is the way to find your authentic voice, is just putting any box we have aside and letting Gaia speak through us, to our unique channel, in whatever way. Yeah, is this, uh, in a way this is my experience, I've been coming from further and further and further down toward my center, and then when I hit my center, it was as if my grounding cord then just like, like jacked into my center. 
and mm-hmm. then it was it's it's speaking for Gaia mm-hmm. and I yeah I wanted I want to experiment with with doing this mm-hmm. because what I've been really missing is <laughs> when I'm not doing that what I've been missing is that I I speak to someone else mm-hmm. as if they're not part of Gaia mm-hmm. as if uh-huh. there's some kind of enemy or or problem about Gaia and I don't know. It touched me so much, and for me, it's like I don't know what to do. Yeah, just witnessing everything that's going around, and here I am, this small individual. And oh, what can I do? I feel my feelings, and I feel touched, and yeah, I don't have much more clarity right now. I I know when you speak, Nicole. Then something awakens in me and I'm also fucking angry about, yeah, what the fuck is going on here? And why are also what Colin said, why is it happening the way it is? Why, why are the things happening the way they are happening in the sense that we all acting like nothing is happening in the supermarkets when we walk next to each other? Well, the fucking world is on fire. This world is on fire right now. And we and nobody's acknowledging it. It's insanity. It's fucking insanity and i cannot do that anymore i i'm the one that thinks i'm insane well actually yeah. it's the other fucking way around but will you put on the timer and keep keep going i think yeah. you started yes go yeah so oh. so how it lands for me is there's a cultural insanity going on right now and i take it to be that i'm insane and it's not true. So yeah. it's just because this world is so turned upside down and it doesn't work, it doesn't work for anybody actually, especially not for the planet we're living on. So yes, it is time. It is time, really time oh. for the next new culture, feelings and trusting them. Yeah, yeah trusting our feelings. Is not making schemes and plans and books and structures and fuck that. Our oh. hearts know what's true. They feel they have go. Go. everything we need. So <clears throat> this insanity of trusting books and institutes and theories and structures and fuck that go. makes me fucking insane. I can't handle it anymore. Yes, Holy go. Shit! <sighs> go out and notice your throat too. Like as you're doing this for these next few minutes, notice how your throat and keep yeah, going. Get it up through your grounding cord. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work for for my sensing apparatus. This thing that's beating inside of me that is made of everything around me. It's just too much discord. It doesn't work, and and I I I something needs to change. I can't do that any longer. It's just uh, bring bring possibilities. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, I feel all the feelings right now, and okay. The one thing we need, the world needs to hear is simple. It's one sentence. It's feel your feelings. Like what? What more? There's not more. It's super simple. It's super simple. And we're these fucking people that try to make it complex. It's insanity. Like I said, it's just feeling our feelings, listening to our hearts. And the time is up. Do not do that anymore. So, yeah. <sighs> I said everything. It's just waste of space right now. I'd rather feel my feelings than speaking more. Keep yeah. speaking. There is yeah. there's a bottomless source of yeah. stuff in there. You both at the same time. Yeah. Feeling and speaking. Yeah. 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 I, okay. Time's up and thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, I saw you. I saw you. It's, I don't know if it was, I could tell that it was like 
your voice tube and your Gaia cord were like, stuff was coming up and through and then some kind, some sometimes missing a little bit. And, and it was like, it's almost like a target, a kind of inner target practice mm -hmm. to navigate from that, that click together space where Gaia and, and you are, 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 the same thing like you're in your kind of extension cord of Gaia mm -hmm. or, or you're yeah it's like it's mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. so multi-dimensional it's it's hard to put words in it but I saw it it was like you were you were you were getting there it the practice mm -hmm. was working yeah I, uh, yeah, there was uh, this part wild where you use like I saw your like throw like open up and there was this energy coming out from your throat that really like whoa this is what's real voice and it freaked me out because it's like it's so real and it's 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 so the volume of it the, the texture of it changed and there was a, a few parts in the video in the yeah when you were doing it that that it really landed. Yeah. Like your voice changed, eh? like the, the the sound changed, the quality of the sound and what you were saying, it changed. If you want, like, maybe you can review the recording and see it. It's really powerful. And and the other times... When you was, say like, which part, can you, can you yeah, retell when, out of head now? Or? Yeah, it was... Uh, Just when, watch it. Just yeah, watch it. You'll yes. see. Yeah, you definitely see it. And the other part that I was noticing is that the, the contraction, there was a part where it's like, uh, like like contracting that so the energy couldn't come out mm -hmm. so it will come out in this like little like tiny like a smaller voice like a kid mm -hmm. voice because there's a lot of pressure here mm -hmm. and then when when you were opening that it was like the air had a space to come out and the, the mm -hmm. message the energy that had a space to come out and yeah man i i touch this thing that you landed feel feel your feelings it's that simple that brought me that touched my being and i want to say this to to others i want to take that message and share it with others mm -hmm. thank you what do you mm -hmm. have to say john yeah i really heard when you were saying well feel your feelings it's like a wake-up call and you just stayed with that and that felt i really heard that and uh and there was one point where I felt like, oh, I wanted you to growl or something, or I was thinking there was a growl there. And mm -hmm. uh, rather than from here, it would be here coming from deeper. And um, yeah, some feedback I got too is connect the feelings when I'm talking. Sometimes I would talk and then sometimes I would feel. So I think somebody said it, just keep feeling, keep feeling. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. Thank you. I just want to add a few words myself after hearing you. I I love, I, I really felt so much self-love when it was coming through. Also this recognition like, yeah, this is me. This is why the fuck I'm here. And, and I love that part of me that takes a stand for Gaia and that uses all of my force for her. It's just so natural. It's like it makes sense. And I see myself standing in front of groups of people, 20, 30, maybe 50 more, and just using that voice and just making and shaking them the fuck up. Because, yeah, we don't have any much more time. So what the fuck, <laughs> you know? And, and, I've, and I've tried to do this in a festival for 100 men, and I was too scared to let it rip all the way. So, yeah, I'm happy to be in training spaces for that. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, yeah. I love that. I wrote down mm. what I got from what you said is that this speaking as Gaia is the kind of me as Gaia letting Gaia love me and letting Gaia mm. be me and and that my job is to get the parts that are in the way of that out the way. And and even those are are Gaia. They're just kind of in the wrong place. Like a lot of things are are just 
they're not in a place that works. Yeah. And if we just move them around a little bit, it, it, it gets there. Yeah. I just want to speak a bit more to that, Nicole. Every time I hear you speak, my sadness comes up from whatever is going on. And I just want to add to that. It, I think it's telling me also that it, it's like every space I'm in nowadays, and I've been feeling this for years, like three years. It's like every person I meet or space I'm in that is not fully present, dedicated to Gaia's evolution in this point of time, I feel like I need to take them and shake them and shout to them. And I've not been doing that because it would be classified as insanity. Well, if I let Gaia move through me, it's completely sane. So yeah, I just want to say that. <laughs> and I don't know, I've, I'm looking for a way to channel this because I feel, yeah, this is my purpose. This is why I'm here. And I don't find how to channel it in a way that I don't destroy anything because I have so much fear of my power. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I keep it. Yeah, and this is well, this is why there's rules, you know, there's just there's just a handful of rules. Don't hurt anyone, don't hurt yourself, and don't get arrested. And and there are ways, like I think you experience this here today. There are ways to shake someone up with your voice, mm -hmm. with your words. They might not even be loud. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be so simple as how can you handle being alive without feeling? how 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 can you do it like i really want to know i have this question for my mother and i've you know she's someone i've wanted to shake i've wanted to like hurt her because i feel so much anger and but that's not gaia if if i was speaking as gaia i i don't know what i'd say but i have that now i have more more clues more tips and hints about how i can how I can notice she too is Gaia. And I, I don't want to kill her. I, I want to shake her up. And it's it's some kind of five body communication there is I can make that comes from my center, that comes from my grounding cord. And is it my and it's really what I have to say. And I, I just heard that. myself say that. It's really what I have to say. It's my real voice. It's my real message. Nicole, yeah, can I jump in there? Yeah. So I just have something for you. I wonder how would you approach this woman if she wasn't your mother? Well, she's not my mother, actually. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying. If you yeah, didn't have the bond you have with her, if she's just a person you meet and you had, she has the same energetic signature, what would you do different? Would you do yeah, something? Well, this, this is what I'm, I'm learning well, to do it different. Yeah. Yeah, and I uh, also, like, I have this clarity now that, well, it came through, I am, I am no longer my children's mother. That woman died. She died of a broken heart. Um, and, and I, I, I don't I yet know how, how, the only place I can come from that is right here, right now, from the reality of that. And so often my attention goes into the future. What will I say? What will I do? How would I say it? How would I do it? And I, I keep, this is what I had since this uh, Jorge and Volker held space for me on, on Tuesday. And this is where I found myself was in this small here and now where where I I don't know what I don't know how it goes I and I'm doing it as I go by being yeah. here no oh. because this this is the time I have the only mm. time I have is right now yeah. thank you Nicole uh, another part that comes up is about this shaking uh, this shaking I, I I get it and having children like now that I have children, it's like I, I like I cannot do that. I cannot just like grab my children and shake them. Like, why don't you get it? Why are you peeing in the floor? Why are you peeing in your pants? Or why don't you brush your teeth? So it's like like uh, like it doesn't work. Like something about it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, it 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 creates more more hurt than than something else. So 
I, as a parent, like I've been really in this research for like being at the heartbroken, like something else is possible. Like really something else is possible other than that. So uh, uh, my invitation will be to like consider like, what if this was your children? You are, you are grown up, you are uh, an adult and the, and they might not know what they're doing. They might really don't have that learning curve that, that you've had about feelings and about other things about sensitivity mm -hmm. to to living in earth and and yeah like how like what is the next their next initiation space what is the net next uh teachable moment they call it these teachable moments when there is a, an opportunity for for teaching something or for mm -hmm. for learning something and yeah that would be my kind of like my invitation I, yeah, I hear you. I have two things to that. And I feel some fear that maybe John can be a little bit more allowed space to speak or bring something in. I don't know, but I'll, I'll just bring shortly in what I have and then I open it. Um, yeah. So I, I feel some fear that what you say, Jorge, I think part of what I hear both you say is like the word patience. Am I hearing between your words? Um, or that how it's land for me it's that yeah so just instead of like shouting now you, i bring patience to the people and their process and at the same time there's this ticking time bomb of planet earth we're on which makes me go i know fucking now well and i'm talking so, about results like about res sorry to interrupt yeah like i'm talking about results like what do you get are you getting the results that you want when you're shaking somebody i haven't yeah i haven't been I've been too scared to do that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think it actually worked in workshops or retreat settings. Then it's really like a thankful wake up sometimes. Mm -hmm. well, well, yeah. Yeah, so we've been a, an experimenting experiment with that. Yeah. Something about finding the right channel for the anger uh, is what I hear all of us say, actually. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to keep experimenting and mm -hmm. welcome to more possibilities yeah john do you have something well the passion like really feeling the passion the excitement of this experiment of letting ourselves just speak what we want to sh shout to the world what we want to <laughs> say to the world like and what's because i have all this just this morning i was going i was thinking like why why isn't every country and every person on the planet trying to as much as they can to create peace to do everything they can to stop these wars like why like i just like we should it just came to me that this is insane we could be doing so much to stop war we're just so yeah it feels good to express that like that's just healthy and that's what needs to be shouted um, or, yeah. or maybe just asked, like, like you could yes. take a clipboard and write it down and go to your neighbors and say, what stops you from doing more to, to end war? I really yeah. want to know. Yeah, right. What's you, in might the get clues, you know, you might get clues about. And, and then you get to have the conversation. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, yeah, like so, coming, I don't understand this world coming from there. I don't understand why aren't we all stopping war? Yeah. yeah. And, so this, and, yeah, this yeah. feels really good to be, you know, just coming from this place of like, what is going on here? Yeah, and I, I mean, there's this short answer that's like, because we haven't learned how to do something else yet. We just haven't, like, as individuals, like people who come to spaces like this are, 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 are in that question. And I still, I, as a devoted, since I was 14 years old, like person who was devoted to ending war, I, I have been in war with myself still. I, I've been in war with so many, in so many different ways. And to not do that and to do something else, it, it takes at least 650 websites, you know, information that populates at least 650 websites from Clinton's research that started in the mid seventies. I was five years old. And, and what, what are spaces almost finished here? 
and like I want to ask like what what experiments what do you want to take what are you taking from this space to put into action or or to to as a next step I I have something about that that, that I want to share uh when I first, when this space came up first for me, the get your voice back, get your real voice back, it came up as a practice space. It, it came up really like it, it wasn't just a one space. I knew like you can use, you can do all of this in one space. Like so much is going to come up. Yeah. So it's like really like I, I want to like either like a consistent practice space or having like a six week, five, six weeks series where we will meet uh, regularly and and actually like do just what we did today something like what yeah. we did today just like let that speak let that dragon dragon speak and and that, that that will be like my next my next proposal that that this will that this gets created that as a as a space for that for letting that part of you speak letting it bring in and and getting that x in the map like like more more consistently okay like bringing it and then trying something else next week and then trying something else yeah and then uh, yeah like creating that, that really like more anchoring into like okay this is my being this is when i'm speaking from gaia and yeah i love it this is what i wrote down to it mm -hmm. was you know speak as gaia a practice space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right speak speak as guy wow yeah I think that could be a, like a twenty four seven practice together. Like yeah. I will, I will take that with me this week. And just whenever I'm standing with somebody and speaking, I would just be like pinging myself. Okay, now I'm gonna just let Gaia speak. Yeah. And see how it goes. Yeah, there's like this way that there are these clear practice space where the purpose is to practice, and then the experiment is go out in the world and do it, and then come back to the practice space and share what you discovered and hear what others discovered and then go out and do it again. And it's like this, you know, like heart gym, we go to the heart gym and we speak from our feelings and then we go in the world and we do it or we don't do it. You know, we, we learn, we're learning how to do it, starting in these clear, distinct spaces and spreading that cultural reality into more spaces to, to kind of overgrow patriarchy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that I've been doing in, like environmental work for decades and I just this I want to feel my feel my fear around being bigger like and I've I've been afraid to really be big and loud and angry uh, so it, but I feel that inside so that's what I want to work on this like this the fear that stops me yeah because oh, i want to be bigger sure. i want to be sure, louder so. yeah. oh perfect so. i love it because i think you have you have i mean you have done rage club right you yeah more than the one i was with you at and i, I think this is how it goes you know you do rage club and then you start to feel more your fear of actually using your voice that you find in rage club so then maybe you need a fear club and it, it's like rage and fear working together while sadness and joy kind of swing in and out and 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 this is what this space this is partly where this space also came from was create these smaller spaces where it's a taste of rage club and then and then and then rage clubs and fear clubs and and other spaces evolve and and more people can get come into them so so this was you know Jorge and I will 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 do another delivery of this taste of rage club which is called find your real voice in something like two weeks april and, 12th yeah april 12th and mm -hmm. and and this is you know this is part of this game world building that i'm doing building a rage club game world with a bridge house game world and empowering other people in other places to also do that so that more of us can have a, a bridge house to live in and rage club, experienced rage club people nearby 
who we can keep doing more experimenting with. And, and it, I'm, I mean, this is my plan for how uh, art and culture overgrows patriarchy. Yeah, and the yeah this this game world that create it's like when people go to the edge of of modern culture that they, they don't have any anywhere else to go into like they reach and then there's just emptiness and and then th these spaces like rage club and the bridge house are creating these spaces for where you can like actually have a, a place for landing like like okay like this like we've been working outside of this context and now there is a space for landing and yeah yeah this i love these the this taste of rage club spaces that are creating these uh there's very practical things that are creating like these shorter shorter spaces and that they can create like that that space like okay like there's so much more in the introduction to rage club and distinctions and there is even so much more in, in a full uh, rage club series so this is these spaces are also invitations for for participating in 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 those spaces yeah. you're, where you can get your voice back, yeah. your authority back, your center back. One thing I wanna also bring before we end is that some clarity I have is that every space that I'm a part of, whether I'm the space holder, a space holder or a participant, I if this is a collaborative creation. And, and as at, what what then comes is that the recording is also we created this recording together and so the the my proposal is is that is that each of us four we we relate to the recording of this call that we created together as an offering that we each have in our hands as a link and that we share it we say like i i created this with three other people and you will you watch it it, cool. it it's about it's about discovering your real voice and and i don't even want to tell you how it went because except that it was legendary and and then you know and then and and as 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 a as a seed to put in the relational space with other people if they watch it or not great if they watch it and never talk to you about it great if they watch it and talk to you and have questions and ask for something great and and yeah it's like it 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 can be a seed and i yeah so my proposal is is or is there any resistance to jorge is the one who has the technical side of it but but making this available to us, each of us who want it either as a link or a file. And then if it's a file, I can, for example, put it in my own YouTube channel and, and send it out in my newsletter or send it out to people I think might be interested in the next one. Is there any resistance to using this link that way? Thank you. Great, thank you. All good. I would like to file, please. So I will upload it on my YouTube. Yeah, I will. I was thinking I, I cut a piece off and I put my piece on on my social media, and then I'm sure people will be like, "What's happening there? What is this?" And then, yeah. Yes, this would be another part of it. Is that is that each of us can use it how we want, as long as we're not changing it somehow into something else. Like, uh, but yeah, editing a part down, cutting it out, using shorter pieces as as something to to give i probably won't do that myself because i i don't want to do lots of editing work and maybe i will maybe i'll cut down a version of it too yeah yeah that sounds i'm in and what i'm getting from reading the space is that we're at the tip of the iceberg like there's really like so like there's really like uncovering so much of like holy like your voice you have a voice you have things that you want to say you have so much inside you that you've been like stuffing down since the day you were born and and that you came here for a purpose 
and that you can see everything that's happening around you. You can see this stuff. You can sense it. You're connected with Gaia. You're you're a sentient being, and and this and that holy like holding space for your voice to come alive is one of the biggest things that you can do for for the world, for your family, for your community, for yourself, for your sanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, it's yeah, fun. But... It's so much fun, right? <laughs> it's yeah. Like this is this is really it for me. Whether it works or not, to save the world or to end peace war, or to give my children a future, this is what I choose because it is high level fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited about I'm excited about doing more and yeah. excited about sharing it. Yeah. Feels cool. like a wake up call that we were talking about we're wanting so much to wake up yes to be alive yeah Yeah. well thank you so much thank you Wout for really honing in on the purpose of the call and creating that opening for us to do that speaking and Jorge thank you for everything you've been doing about archaeological music and voice and and John thank you for everything you're doing. I mean, I'm so stoked. Three of us in this call are from Western Canada. And oh, it's just like, <laughs> yes. oh what a relief. That was zero from Belgium, and I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> or one from Belgium, but zero others. <laughs> yes, go Belgium. Go Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a Belgian bridge house, by the way, if you didn't know. So I'm working on it, yeah. Wow, have What's you talked name? to Aeon? A- a- Aeon? I don't know Aeon. No. I mean, okay, Gunnar, I Gunnar, place, you. Gunnar and Judith. Maybe you know them. No, I don't. What's the name okay, of the Okay, our house? time is up. Thank you so much. Oh, I love Thank being you, here. Nicole. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Walt. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you, everyone. I'll send you, you some money. Okay. Alrighty. Bye for now. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs>